oh fourth cup of coffee today and no regrets it could be worse it could be alcohol so today i'm starting like a new little thing i've realized that one of my things for 2022 and i know like everyone's like don't make resolutions they never stick whatever people are always like oh i don't make resolutions i just make goals it's the same thing people is me and people but i have goals slash resolutions for 2022 one of them is to read that's just because i want to it's not like i'm setting myself a goal that i don't enjoy anyway i want to read anyway but i want to read like a book a week if i can and then my other goal is to upload to youtube at least once a week uh I've not been good with this in the past. So I was like, how can I combine the two? Did you see where I'm going with this? I feel like you know where I'm going with this. So I'm gonna do like book reviews and like my top books of the month or I don't know. <laughs> we don't have a plan yet, but books are gonna be coming into my YouTube channel. And for my first one, I'm gonna do the first book that I've read in 2022, Serpent and Dove. This book right here. I read this in one night. I started it at 7.30 in the evening. I finished it at 1.30 in the morning. There's not enough things that I can say. I would give it a four out of five. The only reason I am not giving it a five star is because I think the first thing you need to ask yourself when you start reading books is what is your criteria? Because my criteria might not be the same as your criteria. And this is kind of petty. I know like don't judge a book by its cover and all. I'm with you honestly but um i'm not with you at all actually because i do judge books by their covers if i don't like the look of a book i probably won't buy it i have read the back of a book and been like oh my god i really want to read this book i really want to know what happens but then i looked at the cover and i was like no i can't do it if i really want to read it like badly i'll buy it on kindle and then i'll just read it on my phone and then also <laughs> i like a bit of spice i've read books without spice obviously and i've enjoyed them and they've been really nice but if you just add a bit of spice to your book especially if there's like a long build up like okay i love a book that has spice in like the third chapter that is that's nice but i also really like a slow burn and when i say slow burn i mean like they get together here the one thing i can't stand to read about is um when people are happy. I don't care if you're happy. I'm happy for you in real life if you have that for sure, but I don't want to read about it. If a couple gets together here and they're happy the whole book, oh please. I probably need therapy. So yeah, the only reason that I didn't give this five stars is literally just because there wasn't as much spice as I would have wanted. There was spice, like as you can see, there's a little pink thing here, like hey, I bookmarked that shit. Like all the different hues of gray and mauve. Mauve? Is it mauve or is it mauve? Not important. They all mean different things, but only I get to know what they mean. There is a spicy scene in the book. Is that a spoiler? I feel like it's not. There's a spicy scene and it's a good one. It's a good... Yeah, it's nice. I like it, but there was only one spicy scene. So if you are someone who likes many spicy scenes throughout the book, then that that's why I gave it like four stars or 4.5. Okay, because at least there's one. I'll give it 4.5 is okay. It's basically about a witch who is forced to marry a witch hunter. I don't think it's much away, but basically they forced into holy matrimony. There is a plot twist. There's a few plot twists actually. So if you like big plot review, like uh, if you want to literally look at the book and be like, wait, what? Then this is for you, my friend. And she's got a big secret. He has a secret. I just don't know how to explain this book without revealing too much. They forced to be married and they have to live together and she has things that she needs to do and, and things that she's hiding from him as well. He doesn't know that she's a witch. So she has to hide that whole part of herself from him because he's a hunter and he very much believes in the code of his fellow like witch hunters. He believes that witches are evil. So she has to hide the fact that she's a witch from her husband and it's like an arranged marriage type of thing. So it's not for love. And she's also hiding her whole identity from him, yeah. And there's people that are basically trying to find her and she is basically hiding out with him because it's when no one would think she would go. Not that she planned it, not that she wanted to ever get married to him or anyone. Point is, she's hiding, people are looking for her, she's married to a witch hunter, she's a witch and he doesn't know that she's a witch. 
enemies enemies to lovers enemies to lovers slow burn enemies to lovers lots of tension yes i gave it a 4.5 out of 5 purely based on the fact that there's not as much spice as i would have wanted that's just because i have none in my real life so i need to read about it if you don't really mind if there's a lot of spice or not and that's not something that really concerns you then this will be a five out of five enemies to lovers five out of five slow burn five out of five my favorite thing about this book is that the female character reminds me a lot of myself <laughs> that sounds very vain that sounds very vain she's just so perfectly written i love sunshine grumpy where the woman is sunshine but she's not like sunshine like innocent naive sunshine she's sunshine like sassy sarcastic witty like she will come for you and give you a nickname that you hate that's my favorite when it's enemies to lovers and they give each other nicknames that the other one absolutely detests but then like as they start to get feelings for each other like maybe i don't mind it so much maybe it's a cute nickname do you know what i mean you have to know what i mean and then obviously there's reed which is the male and he is just <gasps> anyone know has met someone like reed from this book i'll marry you actually and i don't want to marry anybody but i will marry you anyway this is a very bad review i don't really know what i'm doing in terms of book reviews i'm just saying this is just stuff that i look for in a book but in terms of enemies to lovers this is elite not that much spice but the storyline and the way that the characters are written and the way that the enemies to lovers is written makes it okay it makes sense that there's not spice like that's intentional like they they wouldn't they wouldn't be at that stage yet you got to pick your your wars do you know what i mean like you can't ask for a slow burn enemies to lovers slow burn and then also ask for like loads of spice it's like well what are they doing unless it's like enemies with benefits i would read that if you know a book seriously suggest it don't play with me right now anyway that is my review of serpent and dove it was an amazing book honestly i've not read the sequel blood and honey yet i'm just trying to figure out if i want to because usually with sequels i'm not really interested so let me know if you've read it let me know your rating of it i hope that you like that i'm doing book reviews now if you don't <clears throat> okay I don't know what to tell you. If you have any recommendations for books that I can read, please drop them. I have my TBR list is so long already. Honestly, take all my money. I'm not even gonna stop. So if you have any recommendations, please put them in the comments so that I can read more. If it's something where they just fall in love in like chapter two, please I can't, I can't, I can't be behind it. I can't even get interested in it. Nothing like that, please. I'm not interested. They don't have to hate each other, but yeah, just don't make them all happy and stuff. I like a little bit of tragedy. When you start looking at your book preferences, you really start questioning your mental state and like, am I okay? Hope that you enjoyed the book review. Hope that you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>